All right, guys. So I'm doing some just prep work on my Savage today. Um, I've taken out both the front and the rear um, diff. Really easy to get to. Like uh, pop these rivets, pull these back, take out two screws on the front of the bottom and four screws right here right there and then there's another set below it and the cup just pulls out and you can just pull everything out so it's really simple but anyway so these are my two discs and you know I've got everything to, to rebuild them which I plan to do but I'm really glad I did this and, and I'm going to show you why um, this was actually not good so I take them out and it's a miracle that they're still in one piece right because I'm going to try to see if I can do this with one hand. But do you see how loose that is? Look at those screws. It is literally wobbling. Um, see, th see that? See that, guys? Yeah, it's a mess because they're covered with that grease, which I'm going to put some better grease in there. But... Um, I mean, look at this, guys. And and this wasn't just the rear. This was the the, the front too. Look at that. Y'all see that? See see how those screws are popping up? Look at that. They're not even flush, guys. Um. Now, I really like my Savage. I, I really like HPI. But come on, guys. Let's let's do a little better than that. I mean, look at that. It's rocking. Front and back. So, all right, guys. If you have the new Savage um, GT6, I suggest before you even run it, you, you go ahead and take these diffs out and see what's going on with them. Because this would have caused a catastrophic failure if one of those screws would have backed out far enough. Um, luckily, I decided to open this thing up and go ahead and rebuild my diffs and do the um, hardened steel bevel gear and inside gear so I'm going to be rebuilding the whole thing but I'm thinking about all those people who got a Savage paid that hefty amount of money and like don't do this and then they wonder you know how tough it is they go out they push it and all of a sudden your your diff goes out here's why guys they're not even seating the uh, seating the screws correctly so once again guys this is just a thumbs up or thumbs up on, you know, checking and a heads up on what you need to do if you get a Savage GT6. Go ahead and take those out and see what's going on. All right, guys. Enjoy your RC.